Scott Taylor, Operations Manager for Glass Air. Tell us a little bit about the state of the sport airplane industry. What's going on with that? Uh, the sport aviation industry has really changed in the last 10 years. Uh, originally, uh, it was always kind of the kit planes, and people always looked at themselves as a separate breed. Uh, the industry has evolved into what you see here, where people are asking for aircraft that are as close to certified aircraft as you can get. And that's what you have here. This aircraft is fully IFR capable. It has no restrictions as far as flight. It can haul a huge load, go anywhere. If you look at the fit and finish of the aircraft, you couldn't tell the difference between a certified airplane and this. So it's evolved into a market where a guy that was looking to buy a Cessna or a Cirrus, they're also now looking at sport aviation as a possible alternative. How does that airplane then compare? How do the markets compare? How do you talk to somebody who's considering a production airplane and say, come look at what it is that we offer in sport aviation? The easy way to talk to them about that is we follow AC 4313, which is a FAA document, which is what the manufacturers use as well. When we explain that to them and then they go look and they see a Garmin stack and it's all a true track, it's all equipment that they're used to seeing in certified airplane, they understand this is built under the same guidelines and processes as a certified airplane. What kind of customer do you see in sport aviation? I know you said it was someone who is looking for perhaps into one of those production airplanes, but give us a bit of a profile of the basic sport aircraft customer. So the profile has changed over the years. Originally, sport aviation was for the guy that, that either couldn't afford or he liked to tinker. And now, one of the reasons we're here at the Cirrus Convention is a large percentage of my customer base also own a Cirrus. So this is a second airplane for them. This is a fun airplane that they can take out and uh, go camping, go visit some grass strips, maybe do some things that they can't do in their Cirrus. And then the, the concept of getting to build your own airplane. Um, you get to know every single piece of that aircraft. How, how much confidence does that inspire knowing that you built this airplane and were overseen by the factory every part of that. So it has really inspired a lot of people to maybe that wouldn't be interested in building an airplane at home or taking eight years of their lives to put something together in their garage that, hey, I would like to do this and I have the factory there helping me every step of the way. How does the airplane compare to a production airplane as far as performance is concerned? Uh, performance, uh, so this, these are 150 knot airplanes, the 950 pound useful load. We stall at 42. So in some ways, and several of my buyers who could buy anything out there on the market, buy this for the performance. There's not another certified airplane that really matches this in performance. We compare very favorably to a 182, except for cost, obviously. We're at easily half the price. And I guess that kind of leads into the next question is that in this economy, how is that affecting people who are looking at the sport aviation market as opposed to the production market? Uh, so we have seen, we did see an increase in interest as guys that were maybe looking at a certified aircraft at the three, four hundred thousand dollar range saw their net worth shrink as the economy uh, struggled there. They said, well, maybe I don't want to spend that much money right now but I'm willing to spend $150,000 to $200,000 on a new airplane. And then seeing the process, again, I don't want to take eight years of my life to build an airplane. I have two weeks to spend with the glass airs, uh, technicians in the factory, and I have a complete brand new airplane. Do you see that trend continuing even as the economy imp improves? Does the value of a sport airplane make it an attractive alternative? I, obviously, I hope so. <laughs> um, yes, yes. In uh, in 08, I think in, in both general aviation and sport aviation, uh, produ or production aircraft versus sport uh, aircraft, um, we both saw huge growth numbers. Um, and so we, would we expect to see the same thing. Scott Taylor, Operations Manager for Glass Air, thanks very much for talking with us. My pleasure. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. 
Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.